Hi peeps, I'm Plemo from Zanzibar and today I'm here to uh, present you something new and I think very special uh, because uh, we never did something like this before and uh, it's nothing less than the very first RC glider signature model and it's um, for our team rider Pierre Mounier from France and um, we are very happy to have him here today Okay, not here. He's uh, over there in the south. He's in France, sitting in a very nice place. I think it's a little bit warmer there. And uh, welcome, Pierre. Hi, Plemo. Thank you a lot for having me. Uh, I love the, the idea you had to do this video. So, yeah, here we go. Okay, so let's start the interview. Pierre, um, I had the, the idea to make a signature model for a very long time and as you know I come from skateboarding and for me uh, pro models or let's call it signature models are quite normal. Uh, I grew up with that. Um, <laughs> for you as our team pilot, um, what was your first thoughts when I came to you and asked you if you are interested to make a signature model with us? So first of all being a Sunsibir team member is amazing <laughs> and uh, when you told me you had this idea to make a signature model like a pro model for skateboarders I don't know why but it just made sense to me uh, to make this kind of things and uh, I also was so excited because you, you asked me you asked me to, to do it with you and it's just <laughs> it, it's so exciting it's amazing and uh, yeah, it was, it was my reaction. I, I was, I was stoked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to be stoked is maybe one of the best feelings in the earth, on the earth. So this is quite good. Um, so next question is, um, when did you start RC flying? What was your was your initial kicker to to start with that? Uh, I started to fly RC gliders in twenty. 12 start of 2012 i got my first rc glider uh, at christmas 2011 and um, yeah i was still uh, a child <laughs> kind of uh, at this time and um, yeah it what what was the kick for me to get into rc gliders was um, because i always uh, was passionate about everything that fly my my first big book was about planes so <laughs> yeah getting into rc planes and rc gliders was really like obvious to me so as soon as i could get one i got one and it was an electric uh, glider it was a smart fly junior uh, from t2m and the first thing i did is i just wanted a glider so i just removed the motor and flown it as a standard glider, not a motor glider, and uh, yeah, it, it, so I discovered slope soaring and everything, and yeah, I quickly became addicted to that. <laughs> yeah, Pierre, I think you're totally right. Um, I'm sure, I guess the most of uh, glider pilots, RC glider pilots, had the same kind of wow effect when they went first time slope flying and the model uh, is staying in the air uh, uh, like on on its own without the use of any kind of motor so um, what in particular is um, your reason um, to choose um, the Micromax as your signature model what why the Micromax that's <laughs> that's a good question I think uh it's because uh, the Micromax is the model I fly the most. Uh, it's good for sampling, it's good for flying dynamic soaring, for slope soaring. I can bring it everywhere with me. I think for me the, there was like the, the obvious thing. It's, it's this one. This is the glider I want to fly. If I have one glider to bring on a desert island, it would be the, the Micromax. <laughs> no, no one else. <laughs> And uh, yeah, it's it's amazing. And to have made this design with you uh, about the paint scheme, it's just it's so flashy and old school at, at the same time. And uh, it it represents myself so well. So 
it's a bit like a dream come true and uh, having this glider with me today is wow <laughs> <laughs> thank you for that um, well it was a pleasure for me to um, make this uh, beautiful color scheme together with you and uh, it simply reminds me on uh, my first uh, BMX bike when I was like 12 years old and it was like light blue uh, together with red, orange and yellow. <laughs> so here we go, that's it. And um, well, when I'm flying on my own, um, this is uh, for me the best uh, relaxation tool because um, it lets me forget almost every bad thoughts I have and um, uh, I think also the abstraction when you are here on the ground flying the model is in the air you have a distance in here this abstraction um, for me makes a, a very cool uh, brain body balance and I, I, I can't explain why and so my question is um, what do you feel when you are flying alone or in the flat field catching some thermals or maybe um, together with friends or in a competition so what do you feel Yes, I think you got the point here. Uh, it's like if I'm more in the present moment, a bit like medi meditation, and uh, it it make me forget about everything else in the world. It's I'm here with my glider right now, and there is nothing else. And uh, that's the fantastic point about RC glider. Is just that's it, and uh, you are here on your slope or in your field just looking for thermals for lift having fun and um, yeah obviously I like it way more when I'm with friends or in a competition sometime but it really depends on my mindset sometime I really prefer fun flying sometime I prefer I want to go to compete and uh, it really depends lately I'm a bit more about fun flying with friends but I'm most of the time flying alone, but as, as much as I can, I try to fly with friends. Yeah, that's just nailing it. Um, time is not in focus anymore when flying. Time is just, everything is melting away like a candle. It's just you, your model, maybe a bird, you and the no nature, everything is in one flow then. Um, what do you think um, is, the main goal or the biggest benefit for a small model in like the Micromax in comparison to much much bigger models? I think uh, the main goal for small RC gliders like, like this one, like the Micromax, is easy to go everywhere with it. You can bring it really everywhere, you can put it on your backpack and it's good to go. You can fly, fly it nearly everywhere also because its size and its weight. Uh, it's under the regulation for many countries. And uh, yeah, I think it's just amazing also how it's performing regarding its size. Because most of the time to get a lot of performance you need bigger gliders because you, you can't shrink hair. And so <laughs> you, you need bigger gliders to get better performance. And um, this Micromax is simply amazing. It, it seems like it doesn't apply to it. So, <laughs> yeah, the Micromax was my obvious choice. Uh, Pierre, where do you see yourself in the future in your RC gliding? Um, do you think is it more in the slope uh, or more in dynamic soaring or more yourself in the field, in the flat field, catching thermals? Um, I don't really know about that uh, because, yeah, it, it really depends on the, of the weather. Uh, some days I'm flying thermals because it's a great thermal day, as today. Some days it's good slope soaring day because the wind is great. And some days the wind is great for dynamic soaring, so it really depends on the weather. I, I like to fly everything and uh, the Micromax can do it all, <laughs> so it's it's the perfect glider for every weather. and uh, it's. One, one more time, it's why I, I like it so much. Um, Pierre, um, what do you think is um, the special, uh, the main goal in, in Zanzibar? What is the main differences uh, from 
Zanzibar to other glider labels or let's call it or glider manufacturers. Um, do you feel the same like we uh, that it's um, more like a lifestyle for us and then giving it to them? Yeah, it's funny you are asking this because I was actually thinking about that and uh, I think it's more it's not really like a brand like every other one that are only on marketing it's more like a lifestyle a spirit of what's what's RC glider life and uh, I think all the title for the categories really illustrate that and uh, like slope style it's it's not just slope soaring it's slope style and it it really brings something else to the table and I think it's what sets apart SunCBF from the other brand and uh, it's also why I love it. <laughs> yes, lifestyle. Mm, I think that, that was simply missing. Um, when I started this passion, um, I saw people around always only talking about technical things and yes, oh, I have so much power and I have this. And, um, but what is this? Um, we are addicted. We hang around with people with the same mindset and um, we live this hobby, we even dream from that. Um, for me, before I started Zanzibar, I spent more time uh, on flying and thinking about flying uh, than on my job. So, um, and then together with friends, what is that? That is lifestyle and so why not? Um, Pierre, um, how would you describe uh, your own flying style? I don't really know if I have a flying style. But uh, maybe for freestyling, uh, but, but for sailing, it's, it's quite difficult uh, to, to, to say there is a style. Um, I, I try to be smooth. I think it's, it's the correct world. I try to anticipate all the time to, to stay smooth, to stay really clean and uh, to, to work the, with the glider and not work the glider, work with the glider. And I, I think it's, yeah, I try to be smooth. <laughs> Great, Pierre, in this point, we think exactly the same. Uh, when you say not work the glider, work with the glider, <laughs> I would say just let it fly and give it some inputs and then it can dance with the stream under your direction. And so I think it's like in one question before, so everything is in the flow, it's, it's fluid and it's, it's, it's rolling. Okay, so for now, this was my last question. Um, Pierre, um, congrats <laughs> for your first, very first um, Micromax signature model. Bye bye, Pierre. So yeah, <laughs> thank you a lot for having me. Uh, I hope everyone will enjoy this fantastic glider. Uh, thank you a lot for watching and uh, see you next time. Bye. No, la, la, la.